This is the flesh that hates mod, which adds parasitic infection into the game. It's also an SCP reference, this guy is literally me. So I installed a bunch of complementary mods that I thought would fit well and decided to try to survive this mess. And don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell and join the Discord, link in the description. So there is this weapon thingy and I have no clue what it does but it's expensive and I wanna craft it. I spawned into the world and obtained some wood and then I heard a peculiar noise. This means that an incubator spawned and you will see one soon. I found some iron which will be the foundation of our arsenal. So I guess the incubator spawned here and then died somehow. But basically these fleshy blocks would spread infinitely had it not fucking suffocated inside the dirt. Some animal cruelty and open sky splunking later and we have some basic gear. Some time passed and I was looking for more iron and had to kill a child who was getting in my way. And soon after that unfortunate event another incubator spawned. I mined a lot more iron and then indulged in killing innocent wildlife again. So here's the incubator I promised to show you. It's as ugly as you might have expected. Literally me, Eferon God. It seems to have some defense mechanism where he pierces children that instill some sort of primal fear in you, which causes your camera to start tweaking. And these guys pack a punch, so fighting them without full armor is a pretty bad idea. They are not the smartest though and can't really stick to walls, so a cobblestone pillar is nightmare fuel for them. And yeah, it's spreading. I'd have to stop it at some point because the longer it lives, the stronger the monsters will get. These guys can also perform some sort of a launch attack, which is giga annoying. Being close to the biome as doesn't feel good, let me tell you that. I'm marking this piece of land with a waypoint and I solemnly swear to nuke this shithole in the future. So I established a primitive base and started my quest of crafting a gun station. I will need sand, gravel and a light grey dye which will be used to make some concrete powder and then concrete itself. More annual cruelty was crucial for this mission's success, I swear. Abandoned portal something something gold block good. Station created, then some sulfur, smokeless gunpowder, gun steel, an AK-47 and some ammo. Not necessarily in that order, but you get the idea. Now we load this bitch up and are ready to introduce some hot lead to the flesh. Yeah, good luck incubating these bullets. Removing these blocks will be a pain in the ass though, as there doesn't seem to be a tool that destroys them quickly. Apart from TNT, so I will be able to fulfill my promise. Ayo, what's up guys? I updated my skin. Type 1 in the chat if it's epic. So the mod page mentions that the flesh has a weakness that's pretty obvious and easy to find and I think it just might be fire, just like it's the case with the escape and run parasites. Some new monsters spawned in here so I took care of them pretty efficiently. And yeah, the fire is spreading on these blocks so I think I nailed it. I'm a fucking genius. FR, FR. Never enough iron mining some more can't hurt. The presence of skulk blocks means the deep dark is somewhere nearby and and I don't think I want to have a close encounter with the warden just yet. I need to refill my ammo supplies before venturing out on another mission. I noticed some more biomass generated pretty close to my beautiful base and I couldn't leave it like this. The gun seems to be an infinite range hits gun which is just absolutely overpowered. But don't worry, don't worry, I'm not that much of a weakling. I went right into the middle of that red tumor and cranked some bullets into it. I was being attacked and after taking a few hits my camera started tweaking just like that one time at the beginning of the video. And that tweakage apart Apparently fucks up the hitboxes of mobs or performs some other form of fucker to the game's code because despite taking up my whole screen I could not hit the parasite. The outcome of such an unfair fight could only be utter shameful defeat. But you see, if I die I can just respawn while my enemies stay dead for eternity which means I'm functionally immortal and my HP is hypothetically infinite. So it's just a matter of perseverance and I'm used to pushing through extreme amounts of discomfort because I played Greg Tech New Horizons for like an hour. Anyway, my my agility power scales to low multiversal which means I can perception blitz a fodder parasite quite easily so I can get my items back before it can even think about reacting. I then use my Mach 4 speed to slash the defenseless loser until he's dead. I truly am the goat. Since I discovered the flesh's weakness already I just nonchalantly started burning this piece of land to a crease. Cooked hemorrhoids, my favorite. Even more animal cruelty won't hurt. Not me at least. Another filthy land generated here so I might as well do a drive-by and get rid of the pesky monster. This liquid gives you the decomposition effect which rapidly drains your food bar. My head cannon is that it's yellow because there's piss dissolved in there. Even more proof that fire is the first kryptonite. Yet another incubator here. Unfortunately as an anti-natalist I have to end this breeder. Creepers are a valuable resource in this playthrough because I need gunpowder for ammo. Which not so much but if stealing it means the village will starve then I'll gladly take it. Basically I was looking 
for a forest for quite a while because that's where the Minecraft wiki told me lilies of the valley generate and they were the missing ingredient for the backpack recipe which I can also upgrade right off the bat thanks to the gold block I found at the ruined nether portal I took a look at some of the other weapons but there's not really a lot of juice I could squeeze out of them so I'll just stick to the rifle I already have it's not like it's underperforming or anything I kind of expected some better loot from this underground facility not gonna lie well this might be it chat tell my like and I sniff that I loved her you can sniff my feet guys I don't like how he's standing right in front of me. thankfully looting my own corpse doesn't produce any sound I got no clue how much HP he has so I thought uh, he would die with a few more bullets but alas he has however zero counterplay to pillaring up and shooting at him with a height advantage but his successor does have ways to combat it also it's funny how the real dangerous parasite is a dude living in his dark basement with no sunlight since the parasites are not a challenge at all and the biomass isn't spreading in a manner that could be described as fast I decided to give them some time to crank up their numbers but even that didn't really do much so I switched sides for a brief while and brought forth some of them by hand the only thing this accomplished though is killing my FPS completely the TPS is also suffering massively the game just can't keep up so yeah I don't know like the video subscribe join the discord click the bell and last but not least uh, go and commit war crimes